weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Grace Anello and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. 1016 on your Saturday evening and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network is like 99% dry. I am tracking just a few little showers there in southern Etowah County. Those are dissipating. The rest of us are completely dry as we head to bed this evening. Taking a look over our Space and Rocket Center camera, we are looking good. You can see kind of that haze in the sky showing us that there's a little bit of that lingering cloud cover, but for the most part, we're completely clear and temperatures or excuse me, conditions are beautiful for us. Temperatures are hanging out in the mid and upper 70s for our bedtime temps. We're at 75 in Scottsboro. Good night to you, Huntsville at 77 and good night, Moulton, 76 for you as you head to bed this evening. Now, just to further prove my point of what a wonderful night we're going to have, take a look at future radar. We do stay completely dry even into the wee hours of the morning, which means if you're a night owl and you're still out and about and want to have a bonfire, well, actually, you've got pretty nice conditions to do it. Your rain chance is extremely low. Your humidity will still be moderate, but not unbearable, which means that it's perfect s'mores weather. So if you can stand to stay up a little bit later, then I suggest getting out there and enjoying it. And hey, invite me over. I mean, I'm a girl that loves some s'mores too. Your overnight low temperature will be right at 70. We will be partly cloudy and mild this evening. That wind's coming out of our north at just a hint of a breeze. All right, well, first thing tomorrow morning as you head out the door, those temperatures for you for your 7 o'clock wake up time will be in the mid 70s. By the time we get to 9 a.m., we are at that 80 mark. Now, there is the slightest hint of a chance for rain, but really all of us will be dry as we head first thing in the morning. And hey, if you liked today's weather, which I know I did, then tomorrow you're going to be so happy because it's basically a rinse and repeat. Your high temperature on Sunday, again in the low 90s. That slight, slight chance for rain, but really, guys, don't go canceling your plans on Sunday. Most of us will stay completely dry, and it's going to be an absolute beautiful day for us. So what does this mean for the next couple days as far as watering the garden? Well, I would water the garden on Sunday. Tomorrow, you do need to go ahead and set up an irrigation system there. But as we head through the rest of the work week, don't worry about it. The atmosphere is going to water your garden and water your plants for you. So once you get that responsibility out of the way on Sunday, you should be good to go. And speaking of Sunday, make sure you take advantage of it. Soak up all of that sunshine. While the temperatures are the warmest we will see this week, it will be nice to have plenty of the sun. Our strongest chance for rain does come Monday and Tuesday. As we get past that, that rain chance slightly diminishes, but it is still in the forecast, although no day towards the mid or end of week is going to be a washout. But we do see those, um, excuse me, temperatures start to become less and less, all looking till Sunday when we have high rain chances and low temperatures.